So we're here at uh, Nova Centis here in San Francisco. So hello. Hi. So who are you? Hi, my name is Linda Chen, and I'm the Director of Business Development and Marketing for Nova Centis. So what is this? What are we looking at? So what you're looking at is um, an EMP actuator, and what EMP stands for is electromechanical polymer. And it's a new type of material that we've patented to make these new actuators that are ultra thin, flexible, and have various uh, features. So this is actually haptics. This is actually mm -hmm. uh, like, sh what do you call it, shaking or giving some, what does it give? Right, so the actuators themselves gives haptic feedback. But what's very special about them is that they give the haptic feedback in a form factor that's very unique. Um, we also can do sound, audio feedback along with the haptic feedback, and our actuators can also deform or change shape. So uh, in the future, maybe devices are going to want to give uh, feedback when you touch them. Otherwise, it's kind of like static and... It's better to have feedback. Right. So one of the main goals of Nova Centis is to bring devices to life, to bring computing to life. And what we mean by that is adding haptics to a variety of different devices. For example, keyboards or any other smartphone, portable devices, things like that. All right. So here you have a, a reference design for a keyboard. Right. So this is uh, a reference design that we've made, um, and this is the Awake keyboard. It's a product concept that we've made with our actuators. And in this implementation, we have actuators underneath the keys that can provide haptic feedback and also audio feedback in the same form factor. So you have one of these under each key? Right. That's correct. So when you actually press, and it's a, it's kind of like a flat keyboard, right? But when you right. press, there's a feedback in every key. Right. And each of the, the feedback, the type of feedback, can be customized. So every key can have a different haptic feedback, haptic effect, and also audio effects. So, for example, if you're typing and you want to know without looking at the keyboard whether you press the space bar, the return key, you can actually do that. So how can a little device like this, a little, um, you call it actuator, a little uh, haptic device like this, give different, so many different, like uh, you have, you can show off, you have some different modes to uh, give some different effects? Right, so we actually can go here and we can change the different types of effects. So you'll see here, there's a library of different types of effects and we can change that on the fly. So for example, if I want to do this effect here, it's called Iron Man. And then it transfers into the keyboard here. So that means the, the response might be a little bit stronger than something else? Like there's different kinds of vibrations? And... Right, so the, the strength of the vibrations and the haptic and audio feedback can be changed um, based on playing a waveform. So it's very easy to change on the fly. The actuator itself is what creates the haptic vibrations. So can, can, we, can you try to type some a little bit? So. It's Bluetooth right now. Right, so we're going to go here and we're going to power cycle the device because it's on Bluetooth. Then we're going to go back to our home screen and see we can now type something. So those little sounds that we can hear come from your device? Yes, so the sounds are coming directly from the actuator itself. So the sound is coming from here? Yes, it's coming from where you press locally. So it's not the sound from the keyboard, it's from inside here. And every time I touch a key, I feel a response, which is very interesting. Right, that's correct. So um, how does it work? So. The technology is very unique. It's a patented technology. So we have a material that in the molecular structure, uh, before it's powered, it's, the molecules are randomly aligned. So they're just randomly aligned. When you apply electricity to it, the molecules then line up, and then it begins to elongate. Um, when you bond the substrate to this material, you then 
the when these molecules align, the actuator will then create the vibration. So as the molecules align and you attach it to a substrate, the vibration happens because it's actually bending the substrate. That sounds awesome. So Novacentis is a company that was doing this for a while. How old is this idea? When is it coming to the market and all that stuff? So Novacentis has been around for a while. We spent many years um, doing the research and development. But in 2012, we started really bringing this to the market and commercializing it. Uh, so we have a standard product available now. But again, we are working with various uh, OEM manufacturers to bring the product to market. So it's like a keyboard makers, uh, who could you be your customers? So our main focus is in the keyboard market. Like uh, these thin keyboards? Right, so we are in the thin keyboard market. So anywhere where you can put a keyboard, where that is one of our markets, whether it's standalone, integrated into a device, in accessories. So there's a lot of different areas which we can go into. But what I want to point out here is that Nova Sentis is not just a keyboard technology. What it is, is it's a platform technology. So we have applications in various industries. So they can be like, for example, a thin, very thin laptop, but that might have keys, but that might also integrate your haptics as well. That might have like both. Right. So there's a lot of possibilities and because our actuators are so multifunctional and provide so many different features, it's really up to the OEM and the ODMs to decide how they want to integrate this technology, what they want out of it, and obviously we'd help them do that full integration. So the wearables are going to be nice. Like if you have some wearable where you touch and you get a feedback when you touch and when you get some, uh, you know, some notifications, a whole bunch of things could could be using your technology. Right, so we, as I mentioned before, we have various markets that we can kind of uh, apply our technology to in different applications. Uh, one of, obviously, one of them is the ultra-thin haptic keyboard market. Uh, the other one is ultra-portable smartphone devices. So we can actually vibrate through a 500 micron AMOLED display. Uh, it's something that's very unique and interesting about our technology. So we can apply that to the smartphone market as well. Again, you mentioned wearables earlier. Our actuators can act as a second skin to give feedback to any kind of wearable device, whether it's a watch, uh, jewelry, anything that you feel on your skin. Uh, another thing that we have is uh, we can also apply it to automotive and also catheters. So it would be very interesting to have some wearables that actually makes you makes you feel that a part of your body kind of because you get feedback when you touch and you feel it in your behind the, the smartwatch you know you, it's a bunch of things that'll be very interesting there precisely so that's one of the really exciting things about our technology is that because it's thinner than a piece of paper it's about 120 microns uh, we can basically put it anywhere on a device um, on a wearable and there's a lot of different things that we can do with it so what does your competitors do so what you see in front of you right now, those are traditional vibrating motors, spinning masses. This is, these are our competitors, or representative sample. This is what, the, what is on the market now yes. in the phones, right, for Correct. example. This is what makes a phone vibrate something like this, mechanical, big thing. Right, right. that's correct. And it's going to be replaced by, by this, like a piece of paper. Right? right, that's all very possible. Uh, right now, one of the main features that we have is that, you know, in a lot of devices now, they're using eccentric rotating masses, LRAs, different types of things that basically vibrate the entire device. One of the benefits of Nova Centis and our actuators is that it's localized haptics. So we can vibrate directly an area directly underneath where you're touching. So this has a lot more design flexibility. We can enable new form factors in devices. And also, we can solve real, real problems, so productivity issues. Um, if you imagine being able to type and know exactly where your hands are on the keyboard, that solves a real problem. 
no longer do you have to look down and place your hands, but you know just by touching. So it's more intuitive, it's more interactive, and it really allows you to connect better with your devices. So this is like a key for a keyboard, right? The small F surface, but you're able to do, you can cover a whole phone or a whole tablet or it can be a big sheet of this or many small or how does right. it work? So the actuators themselves are customizable in size and shape. They can be free form, they can be customized to specific uh, requirements from, from customers. So it's all very customizable and there's a lot of parameters that we can change to make the actuators function in a way that we How much power to. is needed to make this work? So it's very comparable to existing technologies on the market. So it will not take more than what is on the market now. But it's so thin, you can have it everywhere. Basically, yes. All right, so how soon can we buy lots of these everywhere? So we are actually ramping up our production right now. These are available now for haptics and sounds, for audio feedback, um, and they're available now. All right, so people making these kind of devices should just contact you and start using them. Exactly, exactly. This is a very new innovative technology and we're really looking forward to bringing it to the market.